All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make this work for InfoWorks. <clears throat> There's an issue with reprojection of really long meshes that they, they, they don't reproject properly back into InfoWorks. So what we need to do is we need to divide this spline up into a bunch of pieces um, and pieces that usually fit. So what I'd like to usually fit, pieces that fit um, into their spot without raising up or... Um, falling down. So what I like to do is I like to divide these into um, uh, one kilometer chunks. If that is too short, then you divide it up however you want. Uh, but that's generally my rule of thumb is one kilometer, maybe two. Uh, so <clears throat> there's this um, script here called divide spline. And that's going to uh, take into account a bunch of things, but um, when you compile it, nothing actually happens until you uh, open up the listener and you're going to see the divide spline. Um, and divide spline is looking for two arguments. It said, what are you trying to do? And so dollar sign is, um, is the selection in max script. So I say divide spline, dollar sign, uh, and number of um, objects that I want. <clears throat> so since there were, it's 34 kilometers, then um, I chose one kilometer or 34 splits. So you can see now we have a bunch of these splits and uh, they should be, and once your road data is all projected fine, uh, they should be good to go. So, what uh, I'm going to show you here is now how do we get cars onto this road? We've done the spline dividing, and now we want to put cars on it. And uh, so these are all the civil cars. If you have civil 3D, simply uh, do a search in the civil 3D uh, directory. I don't know if it's in local data, app data, or in the program files, but you'll find all these .max files <clears throat> and they're all these cars. And so all you have to do, you can use your own cars. You just have to make sure that they're parented to a dummy. So add a dummy object in there and um, link your car to the dummy and make sure the dummy is called dummy something. Um, just leave it default and you'll be fine, but if you have other dummies in the scene uh, and they're called dummy or dummy something, then it's going to pick those up. So make sure that you um, you change that if that's the way you have it or do this in a separate file. All right, so uh, once that's set up, there's how you create a dummy and then you saw me link it. Um, so once that's set up, then you're going to uh, select the number of splines that you want. And of course, this will work for all of them, but I'm only going to do three because there's no need for doing all of them. Just proof of concept here, it'll work with all of them, but I'm just doing three. All right, so you can see here, do the cars, this takes a, a few arguments. So we want to send it the road. We want to send it uh, reverse me, which is just a Boolean value, true or false. The number of cars you want on that segment and then the number of lanes for the road. And what I do, what I like to do is just copy the function and then paste it so that I know what it's asking for. So do the cars. Uh, we want to send it each object, not a collection of objects. So I say for road in selection, do, do the cars, road, true or false, doesn't matter, uh, 30 cars, one lane. And what it's going to do is it's going to put 30 cars on each segment. And to kick this off, you simply, whatever line you're on in the listener there, if you just press the enter key on the keypad, then you're going to be able to uh, run the script right from, right from here. 
Um, and right now I'm trying to figure out, okay, the speed, how do I deal with the speed? Of course, speed is equal to distance over time or time over distance. I don't know what, so that's what I'm doing here. And um, I see that uh, it's gonna take 10 minutes to do one kilometer, which uh, doesn't work. So I'm gonna do um, one minute for one kilometer and press enter on the keypad here. And in mere seconds, all the cars are instantly on this line and they're now animated. And so doing it this way, you're, you're not gonna run into the problem of um, the reprojection, which is good. Uh, so some items to note here that <clears throat> the cars when they when they go between um, sections, they're going to respawn at the beginning of the next section. Uh, so you can see now we have bidirectional, but yeah, you should just know that they're going to be spawning and that there might be a couple corrections you have to make, like making sure cars aren't overlapping other cars kind of thing. I tried to make most of that work okay. Uh, so yeah, so now I'm doing the two lane example. So if we change that argument from one lane to two lanes, then uh, you see we have two lanes of traffic, but you can also see that, see how the car is right there, they just spawn out of nowhere and the previous section ends right there. So hopefully that's not too big of a bummer. There's a reason I did that that I don't recall. So yeah, so that's it. And then from here, you would just export each section of cars to InfraWorks um, as a DAE file. And um, you know, you you would want to change the materials so that you know they're actual. You know, the wheels are black and that kind of thing. Um, and and the cars, you know, they're a bit high resolution. So if you want to use your own cars, that's fine too. And like I said, all you have to do is. Um, parent them to a dummy with the name dummy. So that's uh, sort of the workflow in a nutshell. And uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to reach out with questions. Thanks. Bye.